Have you ever color graded one of your clips and by the time you're done, you can't figure out why your skin tones don't quite look right? Well, I'm going to show you one of the reasons why that might be the case. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So what I'm going to show you is the difference between a beginner and a professional approach to a simple color grade when it comes to skin tones. And you can see here, I have two clips that I've already graded and I'll show you the process. One of them is a beginner approach and the other is more of a professional approach. A beginner might come in and say, okay, let's uh, go ahead and fix our white balance. And they would maybe cool it off just a little bit. And then they would want to create color contrast, which isn't a beginner concept. That's actually a great concept to try to do, but they would do it incorrectly. And what they would do is they would just jump right into maybe their log wheels and they would uh, try to bring out the skin tones by taking out some of the reds in the shadows. Now, the problem with this approach, and you can already see where this is going, is that it's going to muddy up the shadows inside the skin tones. You can see down here that this is kind of the worst offender right here. And this also ruins some other things. So like the hair and the eyelashes are significantly worse off as a result of what we are doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that. And we're gonna go into a better way to adjust your skin tones. So let's go ahead and fix our white balance again. And instead of jumping right into creating the color contrast in the shadows by taking out some of the reds, um, I'm going to create another node. So we are going to click on a qualifier. We're going to click on our skin tones and then we're going to change our view right here. We're going to click on the split screen. And if you don't already just select highlighted modes and that will show you your qualifier and what it is doing. We're going to finish with our qualifier and just make sure that we are grabbing our skin tones. I'm going to denoise it down here in the matte finesse. We're going to increase the radius just a little bit as well. And if we press play, we can see that it is just selecting the skin tones quite nicely. Some of a little bit into the hair, but that is something we want to protect as well in this case. And then after we've done that, we want to click this little button right here, which is the invert mask. That's going to invert it so that now all we have selected is everything but the skin tones. Now, anything that we do from this point on is going to affect everything except for the skin tones. And that's how we're gonna create a nice color contrast. So now we can come into our shadows and we can take out some of those reds, just like this. And we can even put in some, put in some more blue, just like this. And it's going to be a pretty subtle difference, but you'll see here that if I show you the before and after with this, what that's doing is that's creating that very subtle color contrast you can see out here in the trees and the leaves and the dark areas of the image. It's creating that nice color contrast, but we're preserving our skin tones. Nothing in here in the shadows or in here in this arm is being affected like it was in our previous clip when we just did it this way. You can see if I do it this way, take it to the extreme, you can see that it does indeed start to affect these skin tones here. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. This is a short video today, but I just wanted to show you this trick. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.